Greetings from Edu Aspirants, our YouTube channel for competitive exams. In the series of videos on current affairs, this is the 15th video covering the first fortnight of December 2022. Let us see what we have for you in this video. India's first international Buddhist university is being built in Tripura's subroom. Shakya Gassan, the chief monk of South Korea's World Buddhist Pope Organization, laid the foundation stone of Thama Deepa International Buddhist University. And in the presence of delegates from seven countries, although Dalai Lama being sick could not attend, yet the foundation stone has been laid and very soon we'll have this university active. This is how you see this university coming up. The three Indian origin women, Nilima Kadiala, Dr. Anna Babu Ramani and Dr. Indrani Mukherjee are among the 60 scientists, technologists, engineers and mathematicians selected as the Australia's superstars of 2022. These are selected from the STEM research on science, technology, engineering and mathematics. It is an initiative that aims to smash society's gender assumptions about scientists as well as increase the public visibility of females and non-binary people. These are the three scientists of Indian origin. Paperless entry, which is being launched at seven airports, is named as Digi Yatra. Digi Yatra has been launched at Delhi, Varanasi and Bengaluru for now and will soon be introduced, completing by March 2023 at Kolkata, Pune, Hyderabad and Vijayawada airports. Ayushman Khurana has been honored at the 53rd International Film Festival of India, if we, as we know it, for being the biggest disruptor and game changer in Hindi cinema. I'm sure you all know Ayushman Khurana, the actor. India's biggest yoga center has been constructed on the banks of the river Tawi in the village Mantalai in Chinani Tehsil of Udampur, Jammu and Kashmir. This is how the Yoke Center looks. World champion shooter Rudranksh Patil won the gold medal in men's 10 meter air rifle at the ongoing ISSF President's Cup in Cairo the capital of Egypt. The 18-year-old Indian defeated Danilo Solazzo of Italy, 16-8, in the gold medal match on the 2nd of December 2022. He had earlier defeated Solazzo to win the men's 10-meter air rifle gold at the ISSF World Championship in October 2022 also. This is our Rudraksh Patil. The Union Public Service Commission, UPSC, will recruit officers into the Indian Railways by the Indian Railway Management Service Examination with effect from 2023. It will be a two-tier examination, a preliminary screening examination, followed by a main written examination and interview. The minimum educational qualifications include a degree in engineering, commerce or chartered accountancy. We all know that UPSC conducts SCRA examination for plus two pass outs. That is the special class railway apprentice entrance exam for its class one cadre officers. The first G20 Sherpa meeting under India's presidency was held in Udaipur, Rajasthan. India's G20 Sherpa is Mr. Amitabh Khan and he led the four-day meeting and you must have recognized him before I could 
put his name there. RBI has explained the difference between India's central bank digital currency called e rupee and UPI. While UPI transactions take place through banks, e rupee will move from one person's wallet to the others. It is just like cash transactions, that is, in case of digital rupee, a third party cannot find out to whom the money has been transferred. Let us see what more we have on the central bank digital currency. The retail digital rupee, e rupee, is in the form of a digital token that represents legal tender. The Reserve Bank of India will issue the digital currency in the same denominations that is rupee 10, 20, 50, 100, 200, 500 and 2000 and that is the paper currency as also coins will be issued and distributed through intermediaries which will be the banks. Users will transact the e-rupee through a digital wallet offered by the participating banks and stored on mobile phones or other devices. The Indian Olympic Association has elected its Executive Council which took charge on 10th of December 2022 and for the first time a female has been appointed as the President, yes. P.T. Usha is from the track and field athletics who has become the president. Mr. Ajay Patel, Raj Lakshmi Singh Deo are from sports administration. Mr. Gagan Narang, a vice president, is from the shooting federation. Sadev Yadav, the treasurer, also a sports administrator. Kalyan Chaube, joint secretary, also has been a footballer. Alak Nanda Ashok, Joint Secretary, is an educationist, a professor from the Pantanagar University. MC Maricom, Chairperson, Athletes Commission, an international boxer. And Mr. Sharad Kamal, the legendary table tennis star of India, will be the Vice Chairperson of the Athletes Commission. Besides, six Executive Council members have also been appointed. Having learnt about the five Vande Bharat Express trains, the sixth Vande Bharat Express train has been flagged off from Nagpur railway station. It will run between Nagpur in Maharashtra and Bilaspur in Chhattisgarh. The new campus of the National Academy of Rural Development and Self-Employment Training Institute, Rootset NAR, has been inaugurated at Kumbal Godu in Bengaluru. This is the building as you see. The Indian Space Research Organization and headquarters of integrated defense staff successfully conducted a joint hypersonic vehicle trial which is capable of delivering military response over long distances rapidly. A hypersonic vehicle is a vehicle which can travel five times faster than the speed of sound. It can be an aeroplane, missile or spacecraft. This is the test that they have. This brings us to the end of the video on current affairs for the first fortnight of December 2022. The next video on current affairs for the second fortnight of December 2022 shall be uploaded after 31st December 2022. Please subscribe, share, like and press the bell icon for updates. Keep revising and best wishes for forthcoming examinations.